Morning people, welcome back to the Nerd Crate. How's everybody doing? You doing good? Hit up the comments down below, I wanna hear that. So, uh, yeah, why did I get that? Ultimate Model Combat 3 Scorpion by Storm Collectibles. I said I hated it, yeah, but I wanted to check it out. So, um, the sun is beautiful, it's going in everywhere. I was on my way, even even shines on good old Raiden, you know? Like fate is telling us, this is how it's done, you know? In case you haven't seen that review. But now, let's get into this kind of scandalous dickhead because uh, he split the fandom, you know? The Storm Collectibles fandom and um, spoiler alert, I do not like him. So welcome back guys. I hope you having a good day and I thought for today is sunny out, scorpions yellow. I would say that fits the overall pattern. So uh, yeah, this is for, in case you're now tuning in, Mortal Kombat, Ultimate Mortal Kombat 3's Scorpion from Storm Collectibles. And the weird thing is it is still shown with the Mortal Kombat 9 logo, but he never showed up in there. So uh, that is the one weird thing. The second weird thing, they changed the mechanics of this guy. We're heading into this once we're down, but just so you know a little. Um, they changed up the foot, the toe tilt. It's not as plan anymore or plain, not a plain surface. And he, he doesn't stand the roundhouse kick anymore. That was the number one feature for me on Storm Collectibles. And they copied that over to the Cyber Ninjas, hence why I don't like him as much. There are some redeeming qualities to him, but in all nooks and crannies, we're gonna check him out, as always, top down. So we got him all out of the box, all the accessories, and looking at this, I'm like, uh, but we get into that. You know how I like to do it. Packaging, and this is one of the positives of the set, library feel. On the front, Scorpion partially varnished on the eyes at least, and the colors there, uh, the, the logo is partially varnished. Uh, backdrop has fiery red around it, looks good. Uh, wrap around works well. On the back, a few poses, what you can do, what it can look like. Little bio warning messages below, licensing. On the side here, his actual yeah, figure kind of done as if it would have been his model and on the top, again, the logo. So uh, all the same, but beautiful. Instructions first, no surprises, black and white. Needs, gives you everything you need. Uh, all the functionality. Oh. Then we got six additional hands and there are some weird choices in there. We got two, stop, hold where you are hands. We got a relaxed hand, we have two gripping hands, and we have a stay over there hand. Um, they work the usual, wrinkles everywhere, looking good, they really look good. Um, paint wise, it's good on there, uh, pulled right through, all to the bone, so to speak. And uh, they are soft rubber, the armor or the, the, the wrist joint is hard rubber, so you just pull them off and pack them on. It's no rocket science, I'm not showing that anymore. Then we got this weird ass choice for a visor. Skull. In the artwork, this look, it looks like this, I know, but in the game, it doesn't look like this. And I hate how this looks, especially attached. We'll get to that. Interesting pearlescent yellow color, black on the nose and some dirt and white on the teeth. That all looks fine. And for the exchange, you just pull this down, then you got some I don't know, skull sculpting still in there. And you just put this in below the hood. And this is what it looks like. And it is crooked on the face. Um, it looks elongated, not good. I hate this. It could have looked so cool and it doesn't. This stays on better than the original, but 
I just hate it. It looks ridiculous. Then we got a few blood effects that quite honestly feel and look like, yeah, like glorified cherry jello, you know. Um, we have this one that kind of packs into the spear. So taking this one, you put this in and you can kind of uh, hold it in front of someone's face. So it looks like this. Um, there's also this smaller one that does the same, th same thing. You just poke it in here. So um, that's an interesting method. And you have this bloody uppercut effect that you just really, I'm just doing this on the fly because it makes the, mo the most sense. Um, you just kind of pack it over the hand and it stays on there rather okay. It just looks super weird. It looks like, you know, it actually looks like a fucking, I don't know, like not a chicken, but you know, the man chicken. I don't have the word for this right now. You know, you know what I, you know what I, what I mean? Like here, this, um, you know what I mean? It just, just looks like a, like a, like a comb on those chickens. I'm sorry. I, I ain't got nothing. I think, I think this is, I think this figure is really bad. I'm, I'm, I'm sorry. I have a hard time really doing this, but I'm still pulling through. So this one's a good one. The ax is warped but it's looking good. We have blood on the blades, black on the center, on the hilt, so to speak, and also some dirt and blood on the actual grip with a spike down below. And it's held rather well by the hands. Like it's a little loose in there, but um, yeah, holds well, that's okay. That's, this one finger is kind of, I don't know, loose. I don't know why it's that, but overall, that axe looks good and you can, if you want to, you can, you can pull off all, all the aggressor combos if you like. And I showed this already ahead of things. Here we got the spear, it's uh, more flexible plastic. The kunai itself is painted nicely in silver. It's blue mark here, that's bad. But if you have it like this, the right way around, that's okay. And blue on the, I don't know, the grip. Um, Modus operandi is like on the original. You hold this over the ball pack and you pack this in and you got the spear here. I think it's weird how it works, but I also think there's no other way except doing a chain. But then um, it's not flexible or posable. So I think it's okay. I don't have any other way to actually do it. Maybe, maybe rubber with a wire would have been cool. Otherwise this really breaks. I mean, it's a spear. Same as Optimus Prime with the Matrix and Scorpion, it's gotta have a spear. Then we got Scorpion, the main man of the hour, and he's super bulky. Um, I like the sculpt here on the inside of his actual suit and the sculpting on the upper legs, upper arms. That all looks well. I love the eyes, what they did here with the uh, red actually surrounding the eyes and the eyes not being fully white. That looks a little bit more ghostly. What I hate, you see that already. This just comes out. If you really give it some force. Okay, now it's actually sitting in. Otherwise, you, you fiddle around with it, this, is get, this get, just get, gets loose. Uh, nice line work on the top of the head. That's what I meant to say. And the visor is just too big, looks bad. I don't, I don't like it. Visor kind of stays below the hood, in my opinion. Um, okay, where do I start? The squares on the gi are too big. The paint job is sloppy. These ones here are not soft, they are rigid plastic and they look and feel bad, like bricks attached to the front of his legs. These are rubber, those look actually good, but again here, this is sloppy, just looks like we need some more paint. Back also, some brown paint. It's not scratched off. This is actually paint. I don't know why it's there. Um, the lines are not fully drawn. Some yellow poking through here. And here is also yellow poking through and also black painted over the actual frame. It's just sloppy, you know. It's bad. I think it's bad. Um, I mean, the yellow is thorough. It's bright, how it's supposed to be. 
but um, I feel like this needs a tint more orange. Just a little, you know, just some bloop. And then you're good. I also feel like this is a tad darker than this, so not fully pulled through. Like this, this is the paint. This is right here the paint. You see that? Yeah, you actually see that. This is the yellow here. Even this, there's actually there's three shades of yellow. I see that now. This is a way brighter yellow than this, and this is another shade darker. Interesting and inconsistent. Oh, rough. Okay, articulation. The head is on a double ball, meaning you have, see? Meaning you have it back, down, this is all soft rubber down below here, and you have left, you have right, can really flex like, <laughs> that's, that's good, all around if you want it. Butterfly, not as flexible as before, that's bad in my opinion, but you still have the floating piece in there. Arm goes all around, tight, but not too tight. Goes up this far, you can always rotate it, but you have then this joint on, on the top, you, you don't want that. Bicep swivel, tight, but good, good tightness. Double jointed elbow, you need it due to the bulkiness of the bicep or upper arm area. Um, gives you, yeah, around 100, 110 degrees. And the wrist swivel due to the ball pack, so you get swivel, a pivot, all you need. So you can have them actually do it like this. That's cool. I'm keeping this off on purpose now because it just pops off anyway. Uh, App crunch gives you a good bit. Also to the back in unison with the actual hip. All of course for the arm for the other side. Not a full split anymore on the legs due to this weird piece here. That's the panties, the diapers, panty diapers, diaper panties, fucked up shit. Not a full front split. Um, bicep swivel around the universal on the inside, but it's tight. It's doing ego ego. Double jointed knee, that's good. Sculpted through, looks a tad better than on the classics, excuse me. Again, bad paint example here, not a straight good line. And the foot are a real problem. Um, that far down, not much up. The toe tilt is there, but it's not actually working for the roundhouse kick. And the rocker works around it, but it's a new kind of rocker. So it's weird. It's really weird. So with all of that, I think it's pretty clear what I think, but there's still something missing, and that is hate, weight, comparisons, and a few posing examples. Now, Lily Cat, what do you think of that dude? No, that's exactly what I thought. That's exactly what I thought. So, let's get this guy in here. I think this was an interesting approach. Huh? Romero? She's a very talkative cat. So anyway, uh, cats go in a different position now. You saw what the outcome was, nothing on the main thing. So, posing. You see where we're at. Did I say that scorpion was bad? I think so. So anyway, you know what I like to do on the ninjas. So, I tried this time and time again and people know that I possess a certain set of posing skills. No, I'm not a poser, but I possess a certain set. So you see that you can put him in the pose, like from the actual flexibility, but no matter what you do, no matter how you actually hold him, there's this certain, I don't know, this very slight percentage in plain level of the feet that is hindering him from pulling off this pose. Just a tad to the back to level him out, that's too much. Tad to the front, what you think you need, it's going to the back. Some more, it's going to the front. It's just no way to pull it off. He just, I don't know, man. Like while we're here, something I never did. Let's just do K1 
kind of, I believe it was, was it this way around? This one straight? Yeah, kind of this way around, you know? Teleport punch. Kind of, you know, I believe, I believe it was this way around. So um, he's kind of like phasing and then boom. <laughs> so you can that, do that, you know? I mean, it's always, it's always fun. It's Storm Collectibles, but overall this guy in comparison is just really bad and you can do the uppercut. I didn't get bring any of the accessories here. Um, this is the thing, you know, if you're not motivated for a figure, you're not even, you're not even doing too much to him for actually looking good. So uppercut is there also, but uh, guys, it's just weird. I'm sorry if this is not your usual motivated Tim K, you know, on the figure, but this is, this is the worst figure I have ever looked at on this channel. It's just the way it is, you know? So let's straighten this guy out. I cannot ram down Monchichi anymore. I took the stand and used it for something else, but Monchichi. So before I show you how he looks in my display for more comparisons so Manjichi out of the way everything is all over the place <laughs> since the cat was here um, scorpion weighs 132 grams and for size 17.7 centimeters yep and here you got him in my model combat shelf so this is all classic you know he's poking out like a sore thumb um, Height-wise, it's okay, you know. So if you have a little A stance, he's straight, so uh, that's okay. But um, here you got him real quick. Besides, classic scorpion and classic reptile. It's just such a difference, you know. I mean, okay, what you see here, the r black lines on the belt of scorpion, are also a little bit incoherent not fully painted this is old though i got it second hand this guy scorpion is new and it's just sloppy paint these are two different things so maybe this helps you to see what you would look like in your collection so there he was guys storm collectibles ultimate model combat 3 scorpion question remains is he good mm -mm. Not for me. I know I shouldn't be biased. I know I should stay neutral, but this is my favorite character from Mortal Kombat. And there's only so much uh, neutrality <laughs> I, can, I can keep, you know? So um, it's rough. It's really, really, really rough. Mind you, no cat score today because cat is sucking uh, in those last uh, sunlight, you know? So uh, those last rays of the sun, so... Uh, excuse her let her sleep cats lead 20 hours a day i believe something like that back to scorpion the packaging is cool as always if you're collecting the whole line you get the library feel no gripes with that partial varnishing great materials backdrop all in there and then comes the appearance and that is a drop down because it just looks i think i think he looks bad i think he looks bad the squares on the gi are wrong sloppy paint job well not wrong but too big sloppy paint job the mask doesn't look the way it should look um, the head should have been more square um, he's too bulky i mean storm, Collect storm collectibles puts a more or a higher emphasis on bulkiness either way but never in a whole history of all the storm collectibles has it bothered me that much as on this guy so or at least overall bothered at all you know, so when I'm looking at this guy and I'm thinking Storm Collectibles, what the hell is that like the B department or oh also these this is the next thing on appearance, you know, these these bricks on the shins. Oh. So in case you you didn't know I'm selling this guy. After this review, Scorpion is heading over to to eBay uh, you can find the link to my eBay down below um, 
Accessories are okay. I mean, the axe uh, is in the spear, of course. The axe is what he used uh, during his aggressor combo stuff, you know. And um, why I didn't put a full 10 on the accessories is because the secondary mask is bullshit and the blood effects look more like glorified jello. Not as good as on Baraka or any of the others. It's just, I don't know. Maybe they tried some new materials and paint. They shouldn't have. Materials feel good on this guy. That's the only thing I can tell you. It's the same materials, you know, hard plastic on most of the body with soft plastic for the soft goods and for the hands, so popping in and out, not a problem. So the mechanics on that look are well. Maybe you sounded, I'm not too, I'm not too cool on this guy. I'm actually not. I just wanted to, I don't, I didn't mean to bullshit in the comments and anything saying I don't like it, but not have them in hand. Um, the articulation, uh, the paint applications are sloppy. Like really, articulation is uh, way more limited than on the others. Um, you saw all that. Uh, I think with toe tilt, it's horrible what they did with the foot overall. It's just rough, man. Like really is, especially from such a beloved franchise of mine. I mean, I started doing dioramas on Mortal Kombat. That's the first diorama I ever did. That should tell you something. Engineering overall, this is essentially the same with floating pieces as a butterfly and stuff and stuff usually works the same, but like I said, with a with a legs and a toe tilt, it's just... You know, I can't tell you anything much, you know, playability, I haven't fiddled with this guy a lot. That's why I'm giving him one point because as you may hear it, I didn't do as much due diligence with this guy as I maybe should have because I just was super demotivated with this guy. I had him one evening, I unpacked him, I checked him out and I had put him back in the box and he was sitting there that evening. And I was looking at there from, from the couch, like kind of like this, you know, and I was like, what the actual hell? Like really, what the fuck? I don't get it. I don't get it what they did there. And so the value for your money from this, no. Uh, I will probably get my money back in. This guy cost me about 90 on tier of robots, as you may have seen. So, nope. I don't like him and I'm not in on any of these molds. If they do Sub-Zero, Reptile, whatever, I vote with my wallet very, very hard here and I do not recommend him and I would even go so far and say, let your patience vote. If you want good ninjas and you want to get in on that line, put, I don't know, a notification on eBay or anywhere else and try and get the classic ninjas, but do not go in on these guys. This is my opinion. I know it's a hard one. If you don't like it, glad you were here, but that's what you get. So, yeah. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this review. Maybe might have not been as funny as the usual ones, but um, I was I was just you know I was really bummed. Like when I saw you know I, I scrolled through the timeline when this guy was announced. I scrolled through the timeline and you see at the bottom Storm Collectibles. That's moving up and you're like ah. Hmm. So uh, yeah, with this. I hope you enjoyed. I hope I could have given you some form of decision helper if you were purchasing this guy or not. Or if you just enjoyed it looking at him and now you really say, wow, okay, mm -hmm. no. <laughs> so uh, yeah, with this, Thursday is something cool coming. Unicron got his spikes. You don't know where to put him, tune in then. And on Sunday, I wanna do a little something, just a little talk about some uh, user integration. Okay, so uh, if you enjoy that and if you enjoy the channel, the usual, hit up the comments, let me hear you. And otherwise, have a great rest of the week. Enjoy yourself, enjoy the sun, be good, be well, stay healthy. Bye bye.